Hey guys, what's up? I'm Yash this side again and in this video I'm gonna give you some crazy chat GPT prompts that could help you offload heck a lot of work. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure to do so because you'll see such banger videos every single week. Now let's get into the video. Also just uh, just a note that I've added a document link uh, below where you can find all this con so check that out as well after the video. Okay, so the very first use case of chat GPT is writing descriptions for the business. Okay, let me quickly decrease the size of it. Okay. I don't know if even if you, uh, even if you don't let me tell uh, let me tell you because description you know business description definitely helps in ranking a GMB so don't overlook this so the prompt for this one is my business name is XYZ for this example I've just taken XYZ plumbing and you just have to replace all the information mentioned about the business with yours so make sure to do so okay it is located in ABC city comma state and we serve in these areas with zip codes uh, mention zip code only if you are serving in multiple location if you don't just ignore this Again, the primary category is XYZ and the services are, uh, again, make sure to change the primary category to yours and write all the services that you provide. Write a great SEO optimized 750 characters, Google My Business description, using the information provided above. Here's an example of how the output will look, okay? The output is really, really great, okay? Uh, I have done it myself uh, and I do use the disc business description output of ChatGPT in, you know, almost all of my clients' website. So you can do that as well. Now let's jump into our second use case that is extracting entities. Okay, so if you don't know what it is, and it is basically you know a unique thing in its own, whether it could be you know ge geographical entities, it could be niche entities. For for example, in plumbing, entity could be you know uh, any uh, any service you provide. For instance, EC repair insulation that could be an entity or any sort of thing. Okay, uh, for geographical area, for instance, if I'm if I'm in Dallas, Texas. My uh, entities could be on you know, Dallas University or any other thing that's unique in its own. Gotcha. So first we will extract you entities and then niche entities. To extract the you entities, just go on Google and search for city plus Wikipedia, and you will get a wiki page for instance like this. D this is a Dallas Wikipedia page. Just copy two or three paragraph of it and go on ChatGPT. Now paste them in ChatGPT and use prompt that is extract entities from these paragraph that I can use in my web page and then paste all the paragraph that you copied. Here's an output example. Okay, you can see it has given me 10 of and geo entities that I can directly use in my website to increase the relevancy that will help me in ranking on that particular keyword. Okay, many SEO tools do this and they charge anywhere between 10 to 20 dollars a month just to provide you this. Okay, so you're getting this for absolutely free. So make sure you leverage it. Okay, and now do the similar thing with niche entities. Go on Google and search for niche plus Wikipedia and then paste them in ChatGPT. With the same prompt that I mentioned, okay. Now our third one is to get business Q and A's that we can add. For the people who don't know what Q and A is, you know, uh, with respect to GMB, it's a section where you can add, where you can, as a business owner, add questions and answer them, or your prospects or your customers could ask a question. Okay. So the thing is, we wanna put, you know, our keywords in the Q and A to get ranking improvements. So the prompt for this one is, you are a local SEO and Google My Business expert. Do not self-reference. My business is XYZ. Again, replace this. And I provide ABC service. Again, replace this. Okay. Please don't need 10 questions and answers. You can increase or decrease the quantity based on what your need is that my customers may frequently ask. These questions can be related to the products, services, locations, uh, hours of operations, or any other aspect of my business. The query should include either my service or my location to be more SEO optimized. So please remember to use location and services in Quinny. The reason for, you know, asking ChatGPT to make sure to use location and service is SEO. Okay, when uh, when we are mentioning our service, when we are mentioning our location in the Quinny, it's helping us to rank on that particular service or, uh, or key phrase and also in that particular location. Here's an example of what ChatGPT generated. It's really great. You can just, you know, read this. It's like, is XYZ plumbing available for emergency plumbing repairs in the location? You just have to, you know, replace and add your own location here. Now, our fourth use case for ChatGPT is generating local business schema. This is some advanced stuff, so make sure to do this exactly how I'm telling. If you're a com if you're a complete newbie, you can skip this part, but yeah, let me quickly explain what schema is and what's the purpose of it for the people who don't know. Okay. Schema is a micro data that you can add to your page to improve the way search engines read and represent your page in SERP. This helps search engines like Google understand what exactly is on your page and what you are providing to the visitors, okay? So here's a prompt for generating a local business schema. You can change it a bit depending upon your needs and yeah, make sure to replace the business details with your own. So the prompt is create a local business schema that Google loves. Come on, my plumbing business name is XYZ Plumber. Again, replace the plumbing with the industry you are in and replace the XYZ Plumber with the company name that you have. 
located in XYZ Road, comma, St. Louis. Again, replace this and opened from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. from Monday to Saturday. Okay, again, replace this. Make sure to do that because, again, otherwise it's going to generate, you know, schema for this particular business that I just mentioned. So here's an output uh, example, okay. This is really, really great output. You know, still a sales charge anywhere between eighty to hundred dollars for just the schema, and you will get some uh, other stuff as well when you're purchasing schema from SEOs. But in many of the cases, when SEO, uh, when you know, uh, when some seller is just you know trying to um, take your money, he's just gonna give you the exact same output that you're getting from ChatGPT. Okay, here's an uh, output example, and I added this in schema validator as well, and it passed. It really passed. Okay, check this. So we got our schema as well. This is very great stuff to be very honest. You can definitely use this, okay? Now let's come to our next one. It's GMB post. I'm using this a lot and almost all of my GMB posts that I do are written by Chad GPD. So the problem for this one is please, uh, you know, please ignore all the previous instructions. Please respond only in XYZ language. Make sure to, you know, replace the XYZ with the language that you want. If you're Spain, if you want Spanish, do that. If you if you want post to be in English, do that, okay? You are a local SEO and Google My Business SEO expert. Do not self-reference. My business is XYZ Plumber. Again, replace this and I provide these services. Add all the services you provide. Please create five long GMB posts written in, in English language. Each post should be at least 500 words. Change this with whatever length you want and write and the next, uh, uh, you know, uh, the next um, line for the prompt is and make sure to add the service plus location in the GMB post title. This is very, very important. We are doing this to make sure that you know, we are, we are GMB post is popping up when it comes to that particular, you know, service plus location. For instance, it could be, you know, uh, uh, oral surgery, XYZ city or something along that line. Gotcha. So here's the result of it. Okay. You can again change the length of it depending upon what you want. If you want 200 words GMB post, you can do that as well. Now, let's come to our sixth use case that is applying to reviews. Here's the prompt for it. Write a great review response to this positive review. Again, uh, within the you know within the uh, within this, make sure to add the review as well. Okay, and then great service. This is a short review that I just took for an example. You you have to add whatever review that your customer left. Okay, make sure to then write. Make sure to include company name that is actually plumber in the response. If you further wanna uh, you know do uh, it in more SEO friendly way, you can ask it to make sure to uh, you know include that particular location, include that particular city that you're targeting. That will be great as well. Then here's, here it is. It's definitely great, okay. Now, let's come to the last one. That is utilizing ChatGPT for topical authority. For the people who don't know what topical authority is, it's basically authority level of your website for a particular topic. For instance, how much Google trusts you when it comes to plumbing? How much Google trusts you when it comes to dentistry? Or how much Google trusts you when it comes to moving? How much Google trusts you when it comes to garage store? Or anything like that, okay. So with ChatGPT, we are not going to write articles. We are going to use it to generate topic ideas to, you know, around a particular niche, okay? I do have a separate detailed video on topical authority, so make sure to watch that as well if you wanna go deeper into it, okay? So the prompt for this one is act as a as your content creator, you know, and uh, you have got the job to research for this topic. Give me 10 blog topic ideas around DIY plumbing. Again, replace this with what industry and what niche you are in that people actually search. Here's the result of it. It's pretty dope to be very honest, okay? So again, this is really, really helpful, okay? So use this to improve local SEO of your website, for, of your GMB, and this was all. This was all about ChatGPT for local SEO. For more such videos, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Also, if you want to hop on a call with me, I'll leave a link to my free consultation below. And yeah, one more thing, I'll leave a link to the document that contains all, that contains all these prompts, so check that out as well. This was all for this video. Bye-bye.